What's poppin' everybody? This is Cerebral Fire 4, and today we're gonna be opening up some Duel Masters booster packs. So if you're watching this, you probably already know what Duel Masters is, but for my non-TCG hipsters out there, uh, Duel Masters is another very cool card game like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering that unfortunately didn't make it. It kinda got obliterated by things like Yu-Gi-Oh! When it came in the West, it really didn't last that long. And it got cancelled. Uh, they remade it into Kaijudo and whatever it is. But this is the original Duel Masters uh, TCG set. And I've got Thunder, Thunder Charge of Ultra Destruction here. I was originally supposed to get 17 of these. But the guy didn't have enough and told me if I wanted a refund or just get some of these Thunder Charge uh, for placements. And I told him no problem. Um, I'm actually really lucky because... Uh, the base set is actually my favorite set. Uh, it has a lot of the cool cards uh, that I like. My favorite, you know, Monster Vampire Sylphie and a lot of useful old school cards. So, just 17 of these packs. It's going to be 13 of base set Duel Masters and 4 of the Ultra Charge. Uh, to get booster boxes of these, uh, you know, sets is expensive because they're extinct and they're old. Uh, but I managed to get some of these, and let's open them up, finally. So, the ratios work a lot differently than uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. You've got common cards, uncommon cards, uh, you've got rares, uh, very rares, I guess, and the super rares, which I like to call secret rares, pretty much. Um, we'll be lucky if we get, like, one secret rare, to be honest, because uh, these are just random packs. But I do hope I get like one or two of my favorite dudes. So let's see, you got this puzzle packs, okay. And then here's the actual ten cards. Starting off with the Holy Awe uh, busted card. Uh, for any of you that are familiar with the game. And you're pro I mean, if people are watching this, they know what Duel Masters is. So Holy Awe, uh, you win games when this gets off and the shield triggers. Very good. You got Tornado Flame, um, another good shield trigger spell for fire, but Terror Pit is better. You got the Bone Spider, uh, does have some perks, but it's kind of a weak card, I would say. I wouldn't use it in Darkness decks. You got this Dinosaur Explosive of Volcadon, Power Attacker, Mighty Shouter, good to give you mana, a good card. Uh, Ghost Touch, this card, and... Vizier of Lightning. I like to run one of these in my light decks, you know, give you that tap. Fear Fang. Uh, let's see, this is just three mana beast dude. And Immortal Baron. Vork, same thing for fire. And then the Hunter Fish. This blocker, that's pretty good. Two mana for 3,000. So. Me and my brother, we did have, we do have, uh, you know, other Duel Masters cards before. It's kind of funny, you know, the story goes, my dad went into Taiwan a long time ago for a business trip and brought us some of these Duel Master cards here, the Shadow Clash Collector Tin. It got us one each. Man, these just don't open. Shit. He thought it was Yu-Gi-Oh, but it was actually Duel Masters. And we got into it and started playing the game. And got a few other packs and stuff since then. Right, right. So Magma Gazer. Got the Poisonous Dahlia. This guy, Brain Serum. The draw card for water. The pot of greed for Duel Masters. And it's a shield trigger. This card is good. Dimension Gate, search any creature, a Writhing Bone Ghoul, you got the Candy Drop, Candy Drop, yeah, that can't be blocked, Burning Power, uh, Bloody Squido, Blocker, run this dude in my Darkness decks, and you got the J Tree, Blocker. So, I already have Vampire Sylphie, and uh, you know, I do have a lot of the cards that are in here, but I do hope I get like some good secret rares and just some other light creatures that I don't have enough of, like the one mana blocker. That'd be good. 
Ah, oh, man, these puzzles keep confusing me. Okay, you got the Chaos Strike. You got a Bullshack Dragon. Oh, shit. Okay, so this... This is a rare, a very rare card. It's hollow. Uh, you can see how it glistens. So that's good. We got our first shiny card. And this is the dude that gets a thousand for each far card in your graveyard. It's not very good, uh, I would say. But, you know, it's a very rare card. So I'm happy to get it. I got Moonlight Slash. Uh, this Forest Hornet. Fuck the insects. Meteosaur. Uh, this dude, Emerald Grass, that's actually very good, one of the blockers that I want. And Aqua Hulkus, draw a card dude, excellent when you summon him. Dimension Gate, and the Bone Ghoul. Right, right. Man, these packs, they're hard to open, like, goes to show you how they used to make packs back in the day. Emphasis on quality. You got the natural snare. This is like Terra Pit, but a bit weaker. It's for the nature civilization, though. And we got my favorite card. I can't believe it. Vampire Sylphie. So to be honest, I already have one of these, and you wouldn't. I wouldn't run more than one in a darkness deck if I did, which I do. But, you know, it's kind of sweet, I guess, getting my favorite card in an opening. I just really fucking love the design of this card. It's so inspirational. It's a vampire, first and foremost, Dark Lord. And, you know, it's a cool guy. I wish he had at least 5,000 attack for 8 mana. But it does have a very useful effect when you play him down, destroy all creatures with 3,000 or less. can be pretty handy, depending on how your opponent set up their field. So very, very good. Uh, Got to get Zagan too and I'll be happy. The Night of Darkness. Got the Illusory Merfolk. Uh, Steel Smasher. Okay. This dude. You got a Writhen Bone Ghoul. A virtual Tripwire. Uh, a Burning Power. And a Bronze Arm Tribe. Another very good card for... Nature decks, putting this to give you mana. Yeah, but all we ever got in our lives, in my, me and my brother, were the Shadow Clash tins and some evil, evil Christianators packs. You know, these were hard to come by, but I really wanted to get them from eBay. Uh, I'm familiar with a lot of the cards since I played the GBA game on PC, emulated that. So we get another very rare card here, the Tower Shell. This is a Colony Beetle. And, uh, you know, I'm not really a nature civilization guy. Uh, usually what I use are darkness cards, light, uh, light cards, light civilization cards. And I guess maybe a little bit of fire and water. Depends. You know... Nature, if you'd use that, you use it with light. That's the way I see it. Uh, you got this Oracle. Spiral Gate, another good card. Shield Trigger for water. Uh, Deadly Fighter, Braid Claw. And uh, the Bone Assassin, the Reaper, Solar Ray, and Burning Mane. Be good if we pulled this water dude here, a secret rare. Pretty busted. It's been a while since I made an opening in general, not just Duel Ma I mean, Duel Masters is the first time I make such an opening, but of anything, of Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, fuck! What the hell do you know? I actually pull a super rare, a uh, secret rare, that's how I call it. The Deathblade Beetle. So, I know this is a secret rare, you can sort of tell from the little cross thing at the bottom. But, of course, it's just my luck. You know, we pull a super rare card and it's got to be the fucking bug. It just always happens when I open Pokemon packs. You know, even when I open, like, the Duel Master shit here. We get the fucking bug. So, this card isn't exactly that great, to be honest. Uh, it's 5 mana, 3,000 attack, and it's going to become 
4,000 power attacker. I mean, it's one less than Zagan, the Knight of Darkness, but I like that guy a million times better, of course. But it's great, we got a Silver Super Rare too, I guess, even if it's a fucking insect. Deathblade Beetle. Good shit. Oh shit, let me just move the camera and I think I've been fucking up the whole time. Uh, let's see, we got this Dark Raven, it's not a good card. Frey, Vizier of Air. I mean, this guy, he's flexible, but he's not very good. Bloody Squido, you, you got Hulkus, Steel Smasher, and uh, the Bone Ghoul again. So, I gotta say, we're not doing too bad so far. You know, I thought perhaps these would be weighted or something. There's always that risk. We got Saucer Head Shark. We got Stone Sar Aqua Vehicle. Uh, wow, this is just two mana, thousand attack. Yeah, Crimson Hammer. Black Feather Shot of Rage. This card isn't so good. You gotta kill one of your guys when you play this, even if it's cheap. Sonic Wing. Laura, very good. Got one of these. I hope I get like at least one more. We gotta. And Marine Flower. This card is also very, really good. A one mana water creature blocker, like this dude. Terror Pits. That's what I need to get too from this, because I only have one Terror Pit. We need to get more. Shit, these puzzles. Get crystal memory. Oh my god, fuck. Yeah, this dude really, really loves me, it seems. It's almost like a sign. So we get another vampire Sylphie. Man. My favorite dude for a second time. Uh, but man, I don't, I really don't need so many of these, to be honest. But I guess I'll take it. Uh, Crystal Memory, Poisonous Dahlia, you got King Coral, uh, Burning Power, you, you, Tripwire, and Crimson Hammer. I mean, the ratios, at least from what I know, is you're supposed to get like just five of the regular very rare cards per box or whatever so me getting a bunch of these you know is pretty good fuck this is another fucking secret rare or super rare I guess from the nature of civilization once again this is the roaring great horn seven mana uh, big guy but eight thousand and it also gets a power attack or a double break or two God damn, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was worried, you know, these pools wouldn't be so great because it's just random packs. But, I mean, we already pulled amazingly. This is another super rare, secret rare card. Excellent, my G. Got the dome shell, got uh, you, tornado flame, trip wire, crimson hammer, laura, very nice. Skeleton Soldier, this guy, it looks cool, but it's not a good card. Uh, there's another dude that has the same attack, same cost, and it's a shield trigger creature, which is extremely useful. So, it's completely outclassed, but this was the first set. And the Steel Smasher. So, pretty good, and I still got the Thunder Charge packs. Not bad, not bad. So, we got Aqua Knight, I think this is the first. Ghost of the Hand when it dies. Ruby Grass, didn't even know this was in the set. You got Stinger Worm, yeah, I don't want to see your fucking mug. Stone Sar, 
Uh, Rue sold the Oracle. Yeah, this is another card that I wanted. Be good if we get a couple. Dead Smoke. I've got more than enough of these to spare. Hunter Fish. Fatal Attacker. Uh, Wandering Brain Dead. This is a decent Darkness Blocker. Uh, they always have bad effects, you know, the Darkness Blockers. But it's good, it's cheap, and, you know, it's good because you can only run four Bloody Squeedos. Okay. And then I've got, oh, two, two more packs with this. Hopefully we'll pull this guy, but I doubt it. The Death Lion. I like Zagan better, but it's a pretty cool card nonetheless. So we got the Storm Shell and another very rare card Sea Mine. Okay, Blocker 6. Water creature, but it doesn't have any negative effects. Okay. Got the poisonous mushroom, uh, dragon art, onslaught of triceps, coral. Okay, a lot of the stuff we got before. Okay. And then the last pack, man, this went so quick, but I guess it's up to Thunder Charge now. Give me something cool. Oh, shit. We got Storm Shell, Swamp Worm. Fucking ugly card and it's weak too. Brain Serum, You, King Feral, Baron, Hunter Fish, Result, Wandering Brainer, and uh, the Golden Wing Striker. So I didn't get any Terra Pits, which is sad. But we got these still. And I got you know, two secret rares, so I can't complain. So let's see what's up in this set. This one also has a few good things. Uh, we get the Shobu character here. And uh, we got this three-faced Shurfang Devil Mask. Yeah, so this is a much newer set. It's number number seven. And you got Curious Eye. Didn't even know this was a water card. Yeah. Fruit of Eternity. Aqua Fencer. Titanium Cluster. It is a freaking crazy good blocker. Uh, Popple. Flower. Petal Dancer. And you got Rom. Astral Sky Terror. Doll. And Aqua Agent. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with, you know, these cards here. So pack number two is a lot of crazy shit going on on this one. Shit, this card's still inside. What do we got? Scalpel Spider. This guy. Fruit of Eternity. Fuck! Okay, I sound like an idiot, but I didn't expect this. Fuck me. So this is another secret rare, or super rare. It's the one for the light civilization in this set. Yeah, a lot of people used to say that, you know, the secret rares from this set are weak, but, I mean, when I look at this dude, I just don't think so. I mean, you need to be without any shields for his effects to activate, uh, but, I mean, it's fucking good. I mean, he's a double breaker, either way, and it also becomes blocker when you don't have any shields, and you can untap this creature at the end of each of your turns, too. You know, 6 mana, 7,000. He's fucking strong, man. I mean, he really is a strong card. Excellent, we pulled him. And I got Bex, the Oracle. Astronaut Sky Terror, Vacuum Gel, 
and uh, this dude, when he dies, you draw a card. It's also good in water decks, but the Hulk is better when you just draw on summon and sting a horn. Shit. So, I don't think we're gonna top that pack unless I get another secret rare. But let's just keep going. I've got two more packs left. And this was great. You know, I'm so happy that I actually went ahead and bought these cards. You know, they were expensive. I paid pretty much like 7 euro per pack. And that's excluding shipping. But, you know, I'm just happy I got some good stuff at least. You got a Riptide Charger. Mulch Charger. Uh, this guy, Evolution. He's pretty strong, but there's other light Evolution cards that are better for me. Rom, this dude that can't be blocked, a little fire chick thing, firebird. Uh, the dream pirate, kind of cool, but his effect doesn't do it for me. Uh, you and you. And then, the last pack here, this artwork once again. Let's hope for something good, something useful at least. And that'll be it. You got the Riptide Charger, Brute Shell, mm, you, 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 Roddy Gale, with that Guardian, Darkness Stealth. Um, I do like some cards that have these sort of specific effects for civilizations, but not this dude. Uh, I mean, the artwork is cool, I'm just saying the effect it just doesn't do it for me. And Propeller Mutant, kind of an annoying card, but uh, yeah, 1000 attack. So I'm going to show you guys all of the good pulls. Alright guys, so out of the four Thunder Charge packs, I actually got the Siri Glory Elemental uh, Super Rare slash Secret Rare from that set for Light Civilization. It's actually a great pull, I'm happy I got this. Uh, since I didn't get any of the secret rares from the base set of light that I would have liked, it's actually great, so perfect. Uh, we got two for the nature civilization from the base set. It's crazy, but yeah, two secret rares, super rares. I got both of them pretty much for the nature civilization, the great horn and the death blade beetle. So pretty good you know even though <laughs> the nature of civilization is the one that I I'm not the biggest fan of I mean I don't hate it I just don't use it I use darkness and light I still can't believe we got two vampire Sylphie from these packs but we did and we basically got five you know very rare cards like the regular hollows you could say and it's amazing I pulled my favorite card two times even though I already have it but it's great we got the Bullshack Dragon, a Tower Shell, and the Sea Mine uh, for the very rares. So five from the base set. It's actually pretty good, but then again, I'm not completely familiar with the ratios. But we got great pulls, I would say. So this is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little opening. God knows when I'm going to do an opening again, especially for Drill Masters. And if you're wondering about the Pokemon TCG, why I don't do them uh, anymore, it's because the booster boxes for Pokemon just don't don't really give me value. I don't. It just doesn't make me happy paying lots of money and just getting a bunch of cards that you can't really use. So that's why I'm gonna go back into it again. But I just like to get like singles from the EX series and stuff, you know, old school stuff and collect. So yeah. That's where the money goes if I'm buying Pokemon stuff. Either way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, leave a like, and share this video with your friends for my usual TCG, Pokemon TCG stuff. Thumbs up for this guy, Vampire Sylphie. Super cool. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll see.